Hello. I've got another pair of boots here. Um, I guess this video is on um, making your soles last a little longer. Um, got this beautiful pair of elephant skin boots. I'm not ready to resole. They're really not ready to resole, but they're just kind of wearing unevenly on the heel and they're getting worn down. They're pretty short. Um, I guess this could either be for height, if you're looking for more height on your boots, or if they're just getting wore down or wore down funny. And um, you want to take care of that. I'll just show you what I'm doing. I've got leather belt here. I'm going to find a good quality full grain leather belt. Cut a couple of chunks of leather and we'll take it from there. Go ahead and get this done. Just measure it out end to end. I'm going, I guess it doesn't really matter which way you go. Uh, I've done this before. I think it's the way I tried it, it seemed easy enough to go this way, sideways. You just make it about the right length. And you get another piece. Line it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. You gotta grind it down anyway, which I'll also show you. Get some good scissors, some nice quality sharp scissors, unlike this. That's all I got right now. So that's what I'm using. They work. Yeah, you see that flip. I'm gonna... I've got these little steers and armadillos here. We're gonna put these on the bottom. And just see how it wears down. I wanna see uh, the progress of that. I think that'll be interesting. Uh, that's all there is to it. Let's, uh, go from here. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is ignore the tape. I've got a hole here. Put this here temporarily just in case I, it's rainy season here. So just in case I step in some water, I don't want them to soak through and get water in the leather. I'll take care of that later. What I'm doing right now is if I got these cut, I'm just going to take the rest of this shoe fucking goo I've got here to hold this shit in place if it's not dried up already oh boy let me see I don't need much this isn't the uh, my idea is this isn't what's going to hold it on. This this would work if you didn't have this piece of shit. If you had a new one and you had enough, I think this would work for a while. I think I've actually tried this before and it held up fine. I can't say that. I've had plenty of soles that were coming apart. I've used the shoe go on. Uh, it, it's really strong shit. It'll hold for a long time. Excuse me. I'm going to. I don't want this one on a shorter one. I don't have much left. I'm just gonna rub them together. You just need a little bit on each one. Get it stuck where it needs to be. And I don't think I mentioned earlier, this is probably more for leather obviously leather soles but I've already got the uh, rubber shoe cap here I don't think you're generally gonna be doing this uh, leather obviously wears down quicker than rubber and if, if it gets wore down or if it's too short or whatever your deal is this may help you out um, I really don't give a shit what this looks like I just I don't like when it wears down on one side and I've, I got these from somebody else in there 
they had a it's supination, I think pronation. I mean, their ankle curves outward, supination is inward, and you know they walk a little differently than me, and it gets wore down there. If you wear a boot like that, eventually you're gonna start walking like that and like screw you up. I don't want that there. I want to try to get these even. And um, I really don't have to go through all this. I could just put a, um, they sell a little thing, a little rubber, I don't know what the hell you would call them. Uh, little things you could put there to level it out. Or you could do that with the leather and you'd be fine. But, um, like I said, these are kind of short. I'm going to go ahead and get a little height, height on there and I don't know, why not? This isn't too difficult, I'm, I'm just going through it. I guess why not? Now, sorry, <laughs> talking and trying to work at the same time. I'm not much of a multitasker. Get all the air out, just make sure these are going to stay put. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't a fucking big deal at all. Good enough. Next one. Get your goop. Find out which end it's coming out of. Actually, um, instead of just doing piece by piece, it's kind of seems like it works better to get it on one and rub them together because then it's smoothed out a little nicer. Yeah, this is done. I'm not messing with this. I'll get another one. I guess it's five bucks, six bucks, depending on where you get it. Not a big deal at all. You get a good amount. You'll have plenty to work with for however many pairs of boots you have. Get it close. It's the bottom of your boots. It doesn't have to be pretty. You don't even have to go through as much work as I'm going to put it into them, but it's a little decent. More. That wasn't quite thick enough because I'm running now. Jesus Christ. Again, doesn't matter. You don't have to get it all perfectly aligned, perfectly smoothed out, because this isn't what's holding them on. I, this is just to hold them on right now. All right. Let's go outside. Let me start by saying this is not what you really want to do, but I think it's going to work just fine. Um, you want to get some, I don't know what the hell you call them, cobbler nails, those tiny little nails that they use, like, like these little brass nails that they actually use, like cobblers use for shoes and boots. Get some of those, um, it can't be that expensive online. I want this done right now, so I'm using screws. Let's see how it works. The things are already lined up. They're glued down. This is why I wanted to glue them down. So the leather will hold still. Yeah, that's fine. Just fine. I don't know. Um, 
I'm thinking. I was thinking. One per corner, but I think two would be plenty, right? With the shoe goo. They're not going anywhere. Trying to get the angle. Trying to get it done. Alright. Let's do it the easy way. I don't, I don't think you can see me, but that's alright. Yeah, two is going to be just fine. Bench would be nice. We just moved here, so I don't have that yet. There. There you go. All right. We'll get the other one done. We'll move on to the next step. You know, things seem to go a lot easier when the camera's not on. There's something about that. I don't know. There you go. Let's go to the, uh, I guess the final step of this process. There it is. Let's see if we can get you at a good angle. I'm sure you can guess what happens next. way too much. You could do it, but that's a pain in the ass. It's bending it. Where the f Oh, there they are. Why didn't I bring you the other one? Should have done this in the first place. I don't know why I didn't. I did the first time. This is actually easier. Getting them screwed on. Instead of holding it there and fucking trying to maneuver around it or using a marker and marking it. Just do this. Get all up where it needs to be and take off the excess. Get the nice sharp Quality pair of scissors. Fuck me. These are going in the trash after this, I'm sure. Maybe I can sharpen them. Look at that already. That's that's fine. I'm just gonna smooth it out. Look at that. 
It's a hell of a difference. Well, I guess you didn't see them before, but that's a little height. That's not what I was going for, but still, if you need height, a couple of stacks of leather, there you go. Good enough for me. That's good enough for me. <sighs> this um, little gap you're going to see now just because it got pulled off with a grinder. <sighs> I'll get pushed down. 
as you walk. I'm gonna fill in that gap. It'll get level, it'll sink it down in there. You don't have to worry about that. I did bevel it a little bit in a lot of places just to keep up with appearances or whatever. Like I said, I don't really give a shit how it looks. I just wanted them evened out. That'll go away probably once or twice we're in them around. Level enough. That'll work just fine. I don't know. It's, um... I kind of like that. I think there's... What's interesting is somewhat satisfying to see brand new screws and a couple armadillos and steers getting wore down just to, just from you walking. There's something satisfying about that. It'll be interesting to see. You know, like I said, uh, use whatever the fuck you call them. Cobbler's nails. Probably be your best bet, but that that's gonna work fine. It's not like those screws are gonna go, they're not gonna sink through. Don't do that on this part of the sole. Let me do that on the heel. You'd probably be fine with screws that short, but I wouldn't. Don't waste your time. Just get the nails. For something like that, it's not a big deal. Whatever you have, even half inch screws would be fine. Use what you got. I think that'll be a lot better. They'll get wore down, they'll get dirty, that'll blend in just fine if you're worried about appearances. Wonderful. There you go. Now, one other thing. I would go ahead and wear these now. Put them on. Since that goop's in there and it's still wet, I'm still adhering. Not. It's not like uh, if you saw my other video getting them to fit. It's not like that. Where you gotta wait all night for it to dry. This, you're gonna wanna go ahead and push down. You know what I mean? If that goo hardens, you're gonna have a big gap in there. So go ahead and put them on and walk around. That'll get all the air bubbles out. Get them nice and flush. We're gonna be making some funny sounds for a while, but that's all right. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Feel better already. <laughs>